Hi, I'm Jacob Sibulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to load data from a Rapid Miner store and explore it. In the previous lesson, we converted the data from a CSV format into a store format, which is a table or database compatible with RapidMiner, also very efficiently indexed for access. So here is uh, the store of student results, which I'm going to drag and drop into my process. Um, at the moment, all I have to do is to link it the result <coughs> port of the process and run it. You can see here is the path which is relative to the local repository. Run it. This is all the data which we have seen previously, which shows the student performance, the demographics of every single student. We have 395 such students. Um, the records in Rapid Miner are called examples, and the variables are called attributes. So we have 33 regular attributes. None of them are special. Okay, I can look at the statistics of those attributes. So I can see that um, some of those attributes are polynomial. That means they have multiple possible values. This is a categorical variable. Some of them are binomial. That means it's a binary variable. You can see that the previous variable is actually binary as well. Um, it shouldn't make much difference. We'll see. Uh, if we need to change the type of those variables, we could rerun the convert process and change any of these. Um, if you click on any of these variables, we have a bit more information. We have a tiny chart showing that there's more females than males. We have the list and most um, values in each of the um, categories. Um, we could have more details about this. It actually have uh, a little table showing that the nominal value f has 208 um, examples and this is the 0.527 fraction of all the data. I can also click on the chart and see in a huge version of the chart um, I can see I can access that information by going through the tabs on the left hand side. So this is actually a very quick overview of your data. Um, this is data about students sex and age, the address, family size, the status of the family, whether people live apart or together, uh, education level of mother and father, the job they hold, the reason for choosing a particular school, the guardian, whether they live mother, father or someone else, information about the travel time, study time, um, various activities, whether they go out or not, whether they drink alcohol on daily or weekly basis, the level of health, number of absences at school, and most importantly, the results in the first, second test and the final exam. Uh, this could be particularly of interest to us. So we could look at a number of those charts. We can see the data is roughly normally distributed except for absences, which possibly is on top of distribution. Um, again, let's look at the charts. We have ability to choose different types of charts. For example, the most typical will be scatter chart. And let's plot, let's say, assignment one versus the final result. You can see that they are slightly correlated. And it looks like there's not enough data here. That's because a lot of data points, they um, got uh, sort of uh, in specific area together. But we could use Jitter, 
that means we can see what are the data points behind. So we can plot the data. And so that's useful. We could have a variety of plots. I can see that sex was chosen for the color, but perhaps um, we could look at the family status or mother's job and see if there are any color um, relationships and uh, special relationships between those three variables. So we have here the job listed at the top of the chart. Um, very quickly, let's do some very fancy charts such as scatter 3D chart, um, in which case we have x axis will be still g1. Let's put g y axis to be g2, which is result in a second assessment, and the z axis to be g3. Okay, so now we have the data I could rotate and you can see in three dimensions all data points and if you want to use color there's another plot for that. So that's a very quick overview and we'll do more complex charts in the next lesson.